The Model View Controller, MVC, is a methodology or architectural pattern. In this pattern process three main elements or components used in software development, Model View Controller. Each of these components is built to handle specific development aspects of an web or mobile application. The ASP. Net Framework provides an alternative to the ASP. Net Web forms pattern for creating web or mobile applications. It is a lightweight framework and highly testable presentation framework. The MVC is one of the most widely used industry standard web development application framework to create scalable and extensible projects. The MVC framework is also defined in the system.web.mvc assembly. What is MVC? MVC is a pattern which is used to split the application's implementation logic into three components, models, views, and controllers. This pattern has been heralded by many developers as a useful pattern for reuse components of object code and a pattern that allows them to as significantly reduce the time it takes to develop web applications with user interfaces UI. Can you explain model, controller and view in MVC? Model, it's a business entity and it is used to represent the application data. This can represent either the data that is being transferred between the view and controller components or any other business logic related data. View, it's the presentation layer of MVC. It is a pure HTML, which decides how the UI is going to look like. Controller, controllers act as an interface between model and view components to process all the business logic and incoming requests manipulate data using the model component and interact with the views to render the final output. What is ASP? Net MVC? The ASP. Net MVC is a framework that provides an alternative to the ASP. Net Web forms pattern creating web applications. What are the new features in version 5 of MVC 5? Only one ASP. Net Experience. Authentication Filters. Filter overrides. ASP. Net identity. Bootstrap. Attribute routing. What are the steps in MVC page life cycle? Step 1. Routing. Step 2. The URL routing module intercepts the request. Step 3. MVC handles executes. Step 4. The controller executes. Step 5. Render view method. What are the advantages of MVC over ASP? Net Provides a clean separation of concerns among UI, presentation layer, model, transfer objects, domain objects, entities, and business logic, controller. Easy to unit test Improved reusability of model and views. We can have multiple views which can point to the same model and vice versa. Improved structuring of the code what is separation of concerns in ASP? Net MVC? It is the process of breaking the program into various distinct features which overlaps in functionality as little as possible. MVC pattern concerns on separating the content from presentation and data processing from content. Can you explain ASP? Net request MVC lifecycle? When the user sends from the browser, it's been handled by routing concept and which navigates it to the appropriate controller where controller picks up the relevant view and send it as a response to the user. Routing, ASP.The net routing is the first step in MVC request cycle. MVC Handler, the MVC handler is responsible for initiating the real processing inside ASP. Net MVC. MVC Handler implements a handler interface and further process the request by using process request method. Action Execution After the particular controller gets instantiated action invoker determines which specific action method needs to be executed. Action invoker uses action name selector attribute and action method selector attribute to select action method for execution. Render view result The action method receives user input prepares the appropriate response data, and then executes the result by returning a result type. View Engine The first step in the execution of the view result involves the selection of the appropriate view engine to render the view result. It is handled by iView Engine interface of the view engine. 
By default has. The Netum VC uses web form and razor view engines. View action method may returns a text string, a binary file or adjacent data or JavaScript formatted data. The most important action result is the view result, which renders and returns an HTML page to the browser by using the current view engine. Can you explain view model in MVC? View model is a plain class with properties, which is used to bind it to strongly typed view. View model can have the validation rules defined for its properties using data annotations. Can you explain routing in MVC? Routing is a pattern matching mechanism of incoming requests to the URL patterns which are registered in root table. Class, URL routing module is used for the same process. Can you explain Razor View Engine? Razor is the first major update to render HTML in MVC3. Razor was designed specifically for View Engine syntax. Main focus of this would be to simplify and code focus templating for HTML generation. Below is the sample of using Razor. At model MVC music store .models .customer. At view bag .title equals get customers. Div class equals custheme at model dot customer name m slash h3. What is the extension of Razor view file? Dot cshtml for c hash and vbhtml for vb. What is the meaning of unobtrusive JavaScript? This is a general term that conveys a general philosophy, similar to the term REST, representational state transfer. Unobtrusive JavaScript doesn't intermix JavaScript code in your page markup. E.g., instead of using events like on click and on submit, the unobtrusive JavaScript attaches to elements by their ID or class based on the HTML5 data attributes. Can you explain HTML helpers in ASP? Net MVC? HTML helpers are like controls in traditional web forms. But HTML helpers are more lightweight compared to web controls as it does not hold view state and events. HTML helpers returns the HTML string which can be directly rendered to HTML page. Custom HTML helpers also can be created by overriding HTML helper class. Can you explain actions in MVC? Actions are the methods in controller class which is responsible for returning the view or JSON data. Action will mainly have return type, action result and it will be invoked from method, invoke action called by controller. Can you explain controller in MVC? Create a simple class and extend it from controller class. The bare minimum requirement for a class to become a controller is to inherit it from controller base is the class that is required to inherit to create the controller but controller class inherits from controller base. Can you explain attribute routing in MVC? ASP. NetWeb API supports this type routing. This is introduced in MVC5. In this type of routing, attributes are being used to define the routes. This type of routing gives more control over classic query routing. Attribute routing can be defined at controller level or at action level like dash. Root, action equals test category list, controller level. Root customers slash test category at admin 10, action level. How to enable attribute routing? Just add the method, map MVC attribute routes to enable attribute routing as shown below. Public static void register routes root collection routes. Roots .ignoair root resource. Ox slash path info. Slash slash enabling attribute routing. Roots .map MVC attribute routes. Slash slash convention based routing. Roots .map root. Name, default. URL controller, action, id. Defaults, new, controller equals customer, action equals get customer list, id equals URL parameter. Optional. Can you explain dependency resolution? Dependency resolver again has been introduced in MVC3 and it has greatly simplified the use of dependency injection in your applications. This turned to be easier and useful for decoupling the application components and making them easier to test and more configurable. Can you explain the advantages of dependency injection? Advantages of dependency injection, DI, in ASP. Net MVC.
increases code reusing, reduces class coupling, improves application testing, improves code maintainability. Can you define Razor? The Razor is the new view engine introduced in MVC 3.0. The view engine is responsible for processing the view files, for example, asks CSHTML in order to generate HTML response. The previous versions of MVC were dependent on ASPX view engine. What are the tools used for unit testing in ASP? Net MVC? Some tools used for unit testing. Munit. Xunit.net. Mock. Ninject2. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.